Welcome back to the continuation of intro to pawn tools. We shall be continuing with task two. That is check sec. And it says in your home directory, you should see two directories. That's terrible repetition. Anyways, intro to pawn tools and pawn debug. Our challenges are intro to pawn tools are in intro to pawn tools. If you enter that directory, you'll see a note in another directory of the same name. When you already enter the second intro to pawn tools directory, to begin your adventure check sec tool you'll find the four directories enclosed check sec cyclic cyclic you can choose however you want to pronounce that networking and shellcraft we'll start with check sec inside the check sec directory we'll find some c code and executables both compiled from the c code if you run either one they seem to be the same program it prompts for the user's name and replies hello name these binaries may appear to be the same program, but one was compiled with protections to mitigate binary exploitation, which is what we want to do, while the other was compiled without these protections. Run the following command and observe the results. As a warning, this command may be a bit slow. Check sec intro to pong one. So firstly, let us get into the directory we are supposed to second one get into check sec clear the screen ls so we are supposed to do a check sec just as a warning check sec the new one the updated version this is the syntax i do not think it would work with the syntax that is on screen in the room i mean we could try it i don't think it's gonna work though i have tried it before as you can see, it does not work. So this is the new syntax. So after running that, as you can see, these binaries both have the same architecture. I386, 32 little, but differ in quality such as railroad, stack canaries, NX, Pi, and RWX. Now, what are these qualities? Allow me to explain. Please note, this room does not require a deep knowledge beyond the basics, and that is perfect for us. Okay, let's do a check sec on the second file. Okay. As you can see, let me make this smaller so that it looks better. As you can see here, intro to pawn one has full railroad and this one has pa partial railroad. This one has a stack canary. This one does not have a stack canary. This has NX enabled, PI enabled, right? So a railroad stands for relocation read only, which makes the global offset table GOT read only after the linker resolves functions to it. The GOT is important for techniques such as read to libc attack that is the return to libc attack although this is outside the scope of this room if you are interested you can refer to this blog post you can do that in your own time i'm sure you're interested stack canaries are tokens placed after a stack to detect a stack overflow these were supposedly named after birds that coal miners brought down to mines to detect nauseous fumes canaries were sensitive to the fumes and so if they died then the miners knew they needed to evacuate stack canaries sit beside the stack in memory where the program variables are stored and if there's a stack overflow then the canary will be corrupted this allows the program to detect a buffer overflow and shut down nx is short for non-executable if this is enabled then memory segments can be either writable or executable but not both this stops potential attackers from injecting their own malicious code called shell code into the program because something is a writable segment because something in a writable segment cannot be executed on the vulnerable binary you may have noticed the extra line rwx that indicates that there are segments which can be read written and executed See this article for more details. PI stands for Position Independent Executable. 
This slows the program dependencies into random locations, so attacks that rely on memory layout are more difficult to conduct. If you want a good overview of each of the Chexec tested qualities, I have found this guide to be helpful. So you can do a bit more reading in your own time. I advise you do so. Let's get into the questions. Does intro to Pwn1 have full rail row? This is intro to Pwn1, rail row, yes. There we go. Does intro to Pwn1 have RWX segments? With the new syntax, it doesn't really show what RWX segments are. And I assume that is the R path. So we will just say no. Does intro to pwn2 have a stack canary? It does not. As you can see, there's no canary found. Does intro to pwn2 not have pi? Yes, it does not have pi. No pi, unfortunate. Cause a buffer overflow on intro to pwn1 by putting a long string such as this what was detected okay we're gonna have to run intro to pwn1 if i can type that is stack smashing detected terminated we might have to copy this as the answer stack smashing there we go we're getting better at this now cause a buffer overflow on intro to pwn tool what error do you detect let's mark this as executable run this baby That is the wrong input actually. Let's try that again. We have a segmentation fault and that is the error. All right, that's it for task two. Let's move on to task three in the next video.